winter is here! In today's video, I just wanted to talk about a couple of things that we're doing for the winter for the chickens. Things like how we're keeping them warm, what Mom. they're doing during the day, how they're adjusting to the snow and the cold, and just a few things like that. One thing is that the chickens don't like the snow on their feet. So we do two things to accommodate this. Um, shovel out the snow so they have little pathways to get through, and we take some straw or hay and we put that down on the ground so that they have somewhere to walk around. We have this walkway Dominic has shoveled out. Since I'm home today, I'm gonna open up the run. The girls want to come out, but they don't like all of this snow. So I'm gonna clear off the snow, throw a bit more straw down, and then I'll clear the path to the compost. And our compost is cooking, so we didn't clear any of this snow off. This compost is so hot that all of the snow that is falling on it is just melting, which is really cool. One of the ladies actually just flew down. So now that I open the run, they'll come in and hang out on the compost because they can kind of scratch around and get snacks and stuff. But that's one of the things they like to do in the snow. She's up on my pile. I was gonna put that down for you, bud. See, right away, she's already in the straw. Um, I have way more in the, in the barn I'm gonna take out, but she likes getting up on there. So let's take this. Hi, ladies. Throw it on top of the old stuff. Okay, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go and get some straw. I'm gonna clear all of this out and I'm gonna try to make it so that the ladies want to come out in the snow. Some of them are bolder than others, so I don't know how much straw Dominic was putting down earlier, but I'm gonna grab this for now and see how that works out. Um, some of them will come out in this much snow, some of them will stay inside, so I'm gonna see how many I can get out. Okay, I don't wanna overdo it with the straw, so I'm gonna put this back and see how it goes for now, and then we can check out the inside of the coop and I can tell you about that. not heated and it's not insulated. It does get pretty cold here um, in the winter. I think it's pretty common for it to be like minus seven, minus 10 degrees Celsius. It can get down as cold as minus 20 and below Celsius, which is quite cold, but we don't keep the coop heated. One, because if we heat it, then the birds are not going to adjust to the cold and they won't get more feathers. If it's left cold and they go outside, they're going to grow more feathers and get fluffier to keep themselves warmer. So we prefer for them to do it like that. The major reason you don't wanna heat your coop, or we don't heat our coop, because a lot of people do heat their coops, is that it's a fire hazard and we don't want the coop to go up in flames. So the coop is dry and it's draft free and it has uh, ventilation inside. Those are the three things that are really, really important about it. We have 10 hens that stay in here together and the coop is not very big. And that re the reasoning behind that is that they get up on the roosts at night and they fluff up, fluff up their feathers and they make heat inside the coop and they keep each other warm. <laughs> this is what's working for us. So far, they seem warm. Um, they seem happy, they have all of their feathers, they're very fluffy now. They were molting when we got them, but now that winter's in full swing, they're all glorious in their feathers, and they seem to be doing really, really well. Um, their water is another thing. We, in the morning, Dominic goes out and he puts warm water in the water. If there's ice in there, he'll beat that out and put water in it. And then we're usually gone until about four o'clock throughout the day. So they have several hours of water and it hasn't been that cold that it's been freezing anyway. But the idea is that they have cold water at the beginning of the day. I'm gonna come back at about four o'clock and I'll be able to change out the water for them then if it does happen to freeze throughout the day, which I don't really think is gonna happen too many times. So I think that they'll be fine. If it becomes a problem, we'll solve that problem later. But there's no need to worry about it now. 
So that's what we're doing with our water. Our water is staying in here. Sometimes it's outside if they're all out. The food is out here and we'll have snacks and like compost and stuff out there for the ladies that are outside and they can always come in and eat as they go. We might get another feeder for outside during the day, depending on who wants to stay in and who doesn't, but this is just working for us for now. <laughs> but yeah, they're in there right now. These ladies are scratching around, they're having snacks. The other ladies are outside, they're kind of doing their own thing. I'm gonna leave this open for a little while and that's pretty much it. So um, during the day, they come out, we put straw down for them, they get up in the compost, they have things to do. During the night, they get into the coop, they fluff up their feathers and they squish together on the roosts and they keep themselves warm. We make sure that they have fresh water, that they have food, and we just keep an eye out to see that they're generally happy um, that they don't have frostbite in, and they're not like limping or acting strangely. So that's pretty much what we've been doing so far and so far it's been going well. I know it's only the beginning of winter but they seem healthy, they seem happy and I think it's going well. But that's it.